Are you wanting to know the best method for how to transplant a tomato seedling? Well, today I'm going to show you in just a few quick and easy steps how to do that with no garden space prepared whatsoever. We're gonna be planting straight into the ground, adding some amendments, and you can do this on your property as well. Let's do this. Hey y'all, welcome back to The Homestead. My name is Dirk, and if you've never visited this channel before, it's all about educating and inspiring you so that you, your garden, and your homestead can thrive. All right, so I'm back here at the back of our property, and this area has not been tilled. We have not planted anything. We've not added any amendments. As you can tell, it's just grass growing. The only thing I have done is I've added a cattle panel trellis. All that takes is three T-posts and a cattle panel. And so that's gonna be our trellis, but beneath it, it's strictly grass growing right now. And so I'm gonna show you how you can amend your soil a little bit and how to transplant that tomato so that you get maximum fruitfulness. Okay, so here's the items that you're gonna need. Obviously you're gonna need a tomato plant or two or three, how many ever you wanna plant. Make sure you ask at the nursery, have these been hardened off? Because a lot of times they're coming straight out of the greenhouse and have not been acclimated to the outdoor weather. You're gonna need one or multiple of these bags. If you only can get your hands on one of them, that's fine. This is gonna be what we're amending the soil with when we dig our trench slash hole. I've got Happy Frog. This is actually potting soil, but I think it's gonna be a great amendment. I've got miracle Grow Performance Organics and Back to the Cow. These are all OMR I listed, which basically is an organic certification. And then um, I've got Espoma garden tone which is basically a fertilizer an organic fertilizer so again you don't need all three of these bags that i have back here but you do need one to two of them last thing you're going to need is a shovel all right so basically all we're going to do is start by digging a hole You can also do this with a post hole digger, which will actually allow you to get a little bit deeper into the hole, but a shovel works great too. All right, so there's our hole. It's about a foot deep and a foot wide. And now we are going to add some of the Espoma garden tone. Just putting a little bit there at the very bottom. Then what we're gonna do is add a little bit of that native soil back on top of that fertilizer. Then you're gonna get one of your bagged soils and you're gonna fill that hole up. And if you can do a mix of a couple different types, that works great too. And now from there, we're actually gonna add some of our native soil back into the hole, just like that. And then we wanna mix it all up. We're basically gonna hand, basically we're hand tilling, so to speak. Get it all good and mixed up. Now get your tomato plant. You're gonna grab it just like this, flip it upside down kind of pinch that cup. Now that's ready to plant. We're gonna break off some of these base stems because these will actually form roots if planted all the way down into the soil. So that's what we're gonna do. Dig a hole, get it way down in there, and then backfill. Then we're gonna add some more of our bagged mixture and from there we'll water it in all right so we got that guy planted now we're going to water it in i've just got a little bucket of water and i'm just going to pour this over top and let that water soak in all right y'all catch you on the next video happy growing